ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக வெல்கம் டு என்சிஎஸ் ராதாஸ் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா போர்ட் சிபிஎஸ்சி கிளாஸ் சிக்ஸ்த் சப்ஜெக்ட் சயின்ஸ் டாபிக் திங்ஸ் அரவுண்ட் எஸ் பார்ட் த்ரீ சப் டாபிக் ஈகோ சிஸ்டம் we discussed in part 1 things around us can be broadly categorized into living and non living things right in part 1 we discussed three characteristics levels of organization feeding and respiration in part 2 we discussed remaining characteristics of living things respiration growth and development response to stimuli movement reproduction excretion definite life span today we are going to discuss about ecosystem biotic abiotic ecosystem interactions between biotic components and flow of nutrition see children organisms that are constantly interact with one another and with the physical environment in order to obtain nutrition shelter and to reproduce the physical environment impacts the living organism is also sometimes get altered by themselves now let us discuss about ecosystem an ecosystem consists of all organisms in a particular area interacting with one another and with their non living surroundings here take this point here living and non living organisms are there right here bat pole flies fish snail these are the living organism but the same pond the non living organism also is there what water temperature stone sand so today we are going to discuss how they are interact with each other now we are going to discuss about types of ecosystem you see there are two main types of ecosystem terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem terrestrial means land those animal or living on land so that is called terrestrial ecosystem aquatic aquatic means water animals living inside the water that is called aquatic ecosystem right the terrestrial ecosystem are further classified into three types that is forest ecosystem grassland ecosystem desert ecosystem in aquatic ecosystem further classified into marine ecosystem and freshwater ecosystem you see marine 
ecosystem means that is a salt water. That is an example sea and ocean. That is a marine ecosystem. Freshwater ecosystem that is lake and river. Right? First, we are going to discuss about pond ecosystem. See here, all the interaction See, pond ecosystem, all the interactions that takes place inside the pond. You see, here, in, you take this pond, okay? In the pond, many organisms are living, right? Here, living organisms are fish, plant, then snail, insects are there. The non-living organisms here rock, sand, temperature, water, these are the non-living organisms. So, in pond ecosystem, the living organisms interact with non-living organism. Right. Next one, grassland ecosystem. What is grassland ecosystem? Plants gives out oxygen which is used by deer. Deer give out carbon dioxide which is used by plant. Then forest ecosystem. In the forest ecosystem, see here animals Different kinds of animals is a living organism, right? Here non-living organisms, here water, temperature, weather condition, here uh, uh, tree also is a living organism. In foreign forest ecosystem also, the animals can interact with non-living organism. Now, let's see the two main components of ecosystem. What are the two main components of ecosystem? There are biotic and abiotic ecosystem. Right? Biotic means living. Abiotic means non-living organism. Now, we are going to discuss about biotic components. Right? What is biotic components? All the living things, all the living things of an ecosystem such as plant, animals and microorganisms are called biotic components. See here, in the biotic components, if you take one pond, here plants and insect, fish living in a pond. So, this is a biotic components, right? Next, abiotic components. What is abiotic components? All the non-living organisms are here, all the All the non-living factors such as water, air, soil, sun, light and wind are called abiotic components. Okay, here You see, in abiotic components, water, rocks, sunlight, dissolved oxygen and temperature are the examples of abiotic components. Next, 
we are going to discuss here you see this is it very beautiful right here biotic components how they interact with non living organism okay here see interactions between the biotic components of a ecosystem the biotic components how they obtain the food due to that we can classify producer consumer scavengers and decomposers now let's see producer listen as i said already right that is autotrophs auto means self right trophs means nutrition self nutrition right so plants are called producer or autotrophs because they can make their own food so here you see it can prepare their own food through the photosynthesis reaction what is photosynthesis reaction we discussed in earlier part right here you see it is a process photosynthesis is a process by which green plants prepare their own food in the presence of sunlight green plants prepare in the presence of sunlight water and carbon dioxide okay so then with the help of chlorophyll pigments it prepare their food through the photosynthesis reaction then herbivores so why plants are called producer because it can prepare their own food now we are going to discuss about herbivores listen here herba what is herbivores here herba means plant ora means to eat right here herbivores it comes it come from uh, latin word herba means plants ora means to eat so herbivores means plant eating animals right here they are the primary consumer they depend on the food made by plants these are the examples of herbivores why we are telling it is a herbivores herbivores means plant eating animals okay children next that is a consumer consumer also called heterotrophs right hetero means others trophs means nutrition so it depends on nutrition for other organisms here you see animals are called consumer why animals are called consumer as they may cannot as they may cannot prepare their own food because it depends on other organism for food so that we can say it is a consumer right see see this picture here 
with the help of the sunlight plant prepare the food right so plant is a produce the zebra that is a plant eating animals that is a herbivores right then remaining next one carnivores shall we discuss that one okay that is a carnivores here next one carnivores in this carnivores it is a flesh eating animals okay then after producer this is a carnivores see they are secondary consumers of the food originally made by plants because these carnivores here what is the meaning of carnivores see here carni means flesh or meat right then Vos means to eat. So carnivores means flesh eating animals. Okay. So the flesh eating animals are called secondary consumers. Next one, omnivores. What is omnivores? Here, omni means all okay ora means to eat so omnivores means it eats both plants and animals that kinds of animals are called omnivores okay here it can be primary or secondary consumers it depending on type of food they eat these are the example of omnivores see here the human being bear big hens kiwi these are the examples of omnivores right the next one scavengers and decomposer children it is very important scavengers and decomposer what is a scavengers organisms that eat dead plants and animals are called scavengers example vulture and termites it's a examples of scavenger right the next decomposer the organisms that obtain nutrient by you see the organism that obtain nutrient by breaking down the remains of dead organisms are called decomposers right so here in decomposers scavengers and decomposers play very important role by ensuring that dead matters does not pile up and that plants get nutrients see children we can say some example just to think about it if there is no decomposer a scavenger is not in this world what will happen all the dead bodies will lying on the ground then the dead bodies will produce some bad smell that bad smell to produce the diseases right so the scavenger and decomposers are uh, is very important role in this world right the next one flow of nutrients 
what is flow of nutrients here in an ecosystem there is a constant flow of nutrients from one component to another you see plant absorb the nutrient from the soil right the plant pass the nutrient to the herbivores right then that herbivore pass the nutrients to the carnivores after that what will happen when carnivores die what the decomposer as scavengers feed on dead animals and plants after decaying it used as a fertilizer again plant absorb the nutrients right so that we can say the components of food it pass from one nutrient to another this is called flow of nutrients right so what did we learn today children today we discussed about ecosystem biotic and abiotic ecosystem then interactions interactions between biotic components of an ecosystem and flow of nutrition i hope you all understood the topic to receive our online lesson please press the subscribe button you will receive the latest updates thank you children